Hello children. Today we will learn about decimals. But first we need to know why do we need to learn decimals. We know that fractional numbers are used to count more than a whole or less than a whole. Similarly, we use decimal numbers also to count more than a whole and less than a whole. We may not always buy vegetables in whole numbers like 5 kg potatoes or 6 kg onions. We may land up buying 5.6 kg potatoes or 6.3 kg onions. Let me give you another real life example where we use decimals. When we use GPS for navigation, we use decimals. When we say in 100 meters, take right, then go 1.7 kilometers straight to reach your destination. So why do we put a point in a decimal number? We put a point in a decimal number to separate holes and parts. On the left side of the decimal number, we represent ordinary whole number. On the right side of the decimal number, we represent the fractional part of a number. We use this block to represent a whole. When we cut this hole into 10 equal parts, we get 10 such plates. Each plate is called one tenth of a whole. Similarly, when we cut this plate into 10 equal parts, we get 10 such sticks. Each stick is called one hundredth of a whole. Moving further, if we cut the stick into 10 equal parts, can you guess what do we get? Yes, we'll get 10 such cubes. Each cube is called one thousandth. Now, let us read this number. We read this number as 1.329 because if we read this number as 1.329, it would be incorrect because the digits after the decimal point are the parts of 1. Let's recap. We use decimal numbers to count more than a whole number or less than a whole number. The number before the decimal point represents whole and the number after decimal point represents parts. The decimal point or the dot is the separator between whole numbers and fractional parts. So children, today we learnt about decimals. We'll learn more about decimals in our other videos. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.